Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Weekly Dad Guys haul. Like I said in part one, pretty good haul. Can't complain, some pretty cool cars. And uh, yeah, let's crack open some. Starting with the Jeep 4x4 in green. Always a cool little Jeep car. Uh, cool little Jeep, that car. I like this casting, the new color's pretty nice. Rims are cool, I like the green on it. Pretty cool little front end. Not too bad of a Jeep. I think it's cool looking. It's a pretty cool little car. I mean, SUV, or you gonna try to say it's a truck. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty nice little Jeep 4x4. It's not too bad of a find there, so that's pretty cool. Next up is um, 1972 Scout 4x4. This guy's is okay, not the best guy's ever, but I still collect it. I like these little Scouts. This is a nice one to add to the collection. New color too, for my collection. I like this uh, purple. Rims aren't the best, but it's not that bad of a casting. I've seen worse, but it's still pretty nice. A little like off-road scout. So these little international scouts are pretty cool. So yeah, pretty nice little uh, scout. So that's a cool little car to add to the collection. Next up, Smashbox moving parts, starting with the 1970 AMC Javelin. Pretty awesome to find a Matchbox Javelin. New to my uh, collection as well. So I was pretty happy to add this to the collection. It's a pretty nice little Javelin. The rims fit it pretty well. I like the front end. There's Javelin right there, which is pretty awesome. Not too bad. It has rear decals. Hood opens up. So you can see the engine. Pretty nice. So yeah, not too bad of a travel in here. We've got to add this to the collection. So I like AMC. They were pretty, they made some pretty cool cars back in the day. So this travel is a nice one to add to the collection. So not too bad. So I'm really got to add that as well. So that's an awesome car. Next up from the Matchbox Collector Series is, is the Porsche Carrera Turbo. Pretty awesome little packing. I always like collecting this one. It's my second version of it. Which is this little box. So yeah, not too bad of a Porsche. No move, moving parts, but still pretty nice little casting. Love the, the screen on it. Front end looks really good. Rubber tires, which is nice. Has a rear and front decal, which is all you really need for a car like this. So not that bad. Pretty good uh, version of this car, so. It's like my second version of it, and it's probably my favorite. Although the blue one I have is pretty nice, but I like this green a lot too, so. Not too bad of a Porsche Carrera. So I'm glad I have this to the collection. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Next up is the mainline, Mac, we mainline on Hot Wheels. Starting with the 71 El Camino. Always cool to find a new version of this. I like the way it looks. Paint looks really good on it. I love that front end. Rims are okay, not the best rims ever, but I do like this casting a lot, so I had to collect it. I think it looks really nice. So yeah, not too bad of an El Camino. I like the 71 El Camino, it's definitely a good version of it. So, yeah, pretty happy to get this one. So that's, all, that's, that's pretty awesome. Next up is the BJ truck, Hot Wheels Racing Delivery. Another casting I like a lot. I think it's a nice little off-road beige kind of truck. Love this racing scheme. It's a fantasy casting, but they did make this in real life, so it kind of is a real part of add to the collection. So it's a pretty awesome little truck. Love the way it looks. Love that yellow in there. It actually fits it pretty well. I just like this paint scheme a lot. Those rims look really good on it. It's overall a pretty good version of this casting, so really glad to add this to my collection. So not too bad. Pretty nice little car, so. Yeah, I really gotta add that to the collection. Next up is um, the Corvette Scenery. Oh, it's cool to find this one. This is like based off the 80s, like near the end of this generation Corvette. Love those rims. Front end looks really nice, has a Corvette symbol there. Has a more bockier version of the 1970s version of this car. Oh, it has Corvette symbols right there, too. That's a pretty nice addition to this car. So, yeah, not too bad of a Corvette version. Not my favorite casting ever from 
Hot Wheels with the Corvettes, but it's not that bad of a casting. Definitely a good version of it, so. So, yeah, I'm glad to add this to the collection. Pretty nice little butt, and, uh, yeah, not too bad of a car, so. I'm glad I add that one to the collection. Next up, the final mainline Hot Wheels is the Mazda Auto Automaze, I think is what it's called. It's a recolor. Pretty nice, cool little recolor, too. I like this darker color on it than the white. Not too bad. There's big rims on it. Love that darker color to it. That little like front front of the car with the mouth. So yeah, for a touring car that won the contest, it's an okay one. It's grown on me a little bit. Still not my favorite. But it's not too bad. I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'm glad I find this and that is a collection. It's a pretty sick little truck. So yeah, not too bad. And I think it's pretty awesome, so yeah, it's a cool uh, Mazda Automaze to add to the collection. Next up are the two cars from the 56th anniversary set. Starting with the Mercury Cyclone. Comet Cyclone. Cool to find a new version of this. I like this casting a lot. And this racing anniversary delivery, it's not that bad. Not my favorite. But it's still a pretty nice little car. Love the way it looks. There's a little uh, gasser look to it. Love that engine right there. Little small tires up front. Fat ones in back. Just a cool little cyclone. So can't beat that. Really cool to add this to the collection. So yeah, that's an awesome little um, Mercury Comet Cyclone. Next up is the Toyota Land Cruiser. Also in the, the same 56th anniversary delivery. I also like this truck a lot too. Pretty cool Toyota Land Cruiser. Like that front end. No uh, front decals, so that's okay. Has the anniversary delivery. The rooms are pretty nice on it too, so it's not that bad of a version. Not my favorite version, but still pretty cool little Land Cruiser that adds to the collection. So it's gonna go well with the other two I have. So for a truck, it's pretty cool though. Glad to add this to the collection. So yeah, looks really nice, so Pretty cool little truck, so that's awesome. The last two things are two uh, M2s, both Corvettes, starting with the Chevy Corvette 427, 1966. Always cool to find a second gen Corvette. And I just say like second gens a lot. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, it's a pretty cool version. It just has like, the um, base off of it. But yeah, I like this version a lot. It's a pretty cool little Corvette. Can't go wrong with a second gen. So yeah, pretty awesome vet. Really got to add this to the collection. I saw it and I had it just add it because I like the second gen Corvettes a lot. And it's a cool version of it, so. Yeah, not too bad of a Corvette. Really like the way it looks. Has a little bit of a stance problem. That's all right. Still pretty nice, so. Glad to add this to the collection. And it's a, uh, yeah, cool little Corvette, so. That's awesome. Last up, it's another M2. It's another Corvette. It is the 1966 Chevy Corvette 327. So this is a pretty awesome little car. As well. See, so yeah, it's a pretty cool Corvette as well. Been eyeing this one for a while. It's like the way it looks. The engine opens up. It does. You can see the engine right there. Pretty awesome. Doors open up too. I'm not gonna bother opening up those. I don't want to break them. But it rolls pretty nice this version. So yeah, I'm so glad I got this uh, 66 Corvette as well. It's really awesome looking and yeah, a cool little version to add to the collection. So so glad I have that too. Let's see these doors open up. Do you open up? I just want to. Oh, one second. Yep. Doors open up too, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, pretty cool little Corvette. Can't go wrong with that. So, yeah, that's awesome. And that's an awesome one to add to the collection. So, yeah, that's all I had this week. Pretty nice little haul. Some great additions to the collection. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for the support of these videos and this channel as always. And can't do this, these videos without the views I get from them. So, 
yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Thanks again for the, the support for this channel, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys next time.